Bob. A sellout home crowd this weekend. It's going to be a great opportunity to celebrate what a great season you've had with the Forest Green fans. Yeah, you're right, Noah. Really looking forward to it. It's going to be a really good day. You're right. Let's celebrate what's been a historic year for the football club. Um, look, there's a game to be played and we want to win the game. Of course we do. But let's enjoy it as well. Let's enjoy the moment. Let's hope it's, uh, it's, a, it's a really loud atmosphere, a fun atmosphere. It'd be great to be there in front of uh, all our supporters, families, um, and everyone. Um, it'd be a great chance for us to be able to say thank you for all the support this season. And, um, and hopefully we can get a, a win as well. But as you say, as much as it's a celebration, there is still a job to do, isn't there? Yep, yep. And like I said, we've got, um, we got a game of football, so the competitor takes over. You know, we want to win, of course we do. Um, we've got a job to do, we've got two games to go, and we want to try and, um, we want to try and see it through. And um, I know the lads are focused on that as well. Um, so we're really looking forward to, to, uh, to welcoming Harrogate and then hopefully, you know, <laughs> beating them. And it is now set up with the final two games, a straight shootout between yourselves and Exeter to, to try and get your hands on that trophy on final day. Yep, uh, which is always going to be, I think, the way it's been going now for a while. It was probably always going to be the way it's going to go down to the wire. They've done great. Congratulations to them. They've obviously got promoted. Um, we've both got two games now to, to see who comes out on top. Um, of course, hopefully it's us, but all focus at the moment is on Saturday. Can't go any further than that. And are you going to be keeping an eye on who's chasing down that third spot or is that not even in, in your mind at the moment? Uh, it's irrelevant at the moment. Um, you know, there's a heck of a battle going on for the playoff positions and obviously the third spot as well. But, um, but of course, that's not our concern at the moment. Our concern is, is, is ourselves and, and trying to win against uh, Harrogate on Saturday. And while Harrogate aren't fighting for, for something at either the top or the bottom of the table, it's not going to make it any easier we've it? spoken about this haven't we before I think you know if there's teams that aren't teams or clubs that aren't necessarily playing for, for, for anything whether it's promotion or relegation individuals are and like I said then the compet competitive spirit comes out in, in any athlete and they want to win they'll be desperate to win they'll be desperate to do well um, so that and, and without any kind of pressure there as well that can that can um, can free people up at times. That's why there's been difficult games and that's why there's some freak results at this stage of the season. You know, pressure can do some strange things to people or playing without it, it can go one or two ways. So we'll, uh, you know, all we can do is concentrate on ourselves. I don't know exactly how Harrogate are going to go about it. We've looked at the last few games and, um, you know, we know where their strengths and potential weaknesses could be. Um, but again, at this stage of the season now, we're used to playing how we play. We'll, we'll, we'll do what we do and try and do it well. And what's the feeling like amongst yourself, staff and the players? Because obviously you had that ultimate elation at Bristol Rovers. And then was it a bit back to reality on, on Tuesday night? Oh, we'd, we'd been, we got promoted. <laughs> I mean, we've got to be happy about this. We've, we've had an amazing year, an amazing year, an incredible journey on all of us together. And we've got to... We've got to enjoy that. We've got to celebrate that as well on the weekend. Um, when the game starts, of course, again, you know, you want to win. <clears throat> we wanted to do that on Tuesday. I wasn't quite sure how we were going to react after the highs of Saturday. We celebrated. Um, and then we're going into a game against a good team. Um, it's a big game for them. Big, big game for them. You know, they had a lot of fans there and um, I wasn't sort of sure how we were going to react, but I thought we reacted really well. I thought they started quicker than us and we were a little bit sore at the blocks, but but then I thought we got uh, good control. The first half, there was nothing really in it. You know, the, I never moaned about officials before, but I do think there were some poor decisions that first half. There was two free kicks for both of their goals in the build-up to it. Ben, the second goal in particular, Ben's been knocked down. Ben seems to be knocked down, clearing the ball. As he's getting back up after he's been fouled, they put it back in and he's playing him on side because he's getting up off the floor after he's been fouled. That was disappointing. Um, and I've not moaned once this season about any officials but I was I was disappointed with some of the decisions there in the first in the first half in particular um, but listen full credit to Swindon they won the game and they, they found a way to do it um, but I do think the performance actually was was good considering that you know uh, you know what we'd gone through the previous few days uh, but listen we'll have um, prepared well for this game we'll have recovered and we're looking forward to, to Harrogate.